Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and the Cardano Shelly mainnet is now active. And so I'm going to show you how to download the new version of the Daedalus wallet to take advantage of all its new features. I'm going to try to reclaim some of my testnet rewards and hopefully set up staking. So let's dive in. All right, guys, I hope you don't find this too jarring, but there was quite a bit of background noise when I was uh, recording this video from my kids. Uh, so I'm going to narrate myself here in the morning where it's quiet. All right, so uh, the old wallet gives us a link to the new installers. So we're just going to go over there and uh, download the latest version of the Daedalus wallet. Now, I'm going to be using the uh, download verification tools I feel this is important. Uh, if they weren't important, they wouldn't provide them. So it is a little bit advanced and you're welcome to skip this part. Now, if you are interested in doing the verification, there is some software that you can download uh, called GPG for Windows. And uh, I've got a great video on how you download GPG for Windows and get started uh, with these verification tools. So we're gonna download the Daedalus installer We'll just drop it in our downloads folder. And I'm also going to download that GPG signature, that PGP signature. All right. And then they also give you instructions on how to do this. Uh, if you're interested in the, the detailed instructions, they are provided here on the website. Show you how to download GPG for Windows and the uh, IOHK authority in uh, developer signing key. All right. Uh, so, but we're going to go ahead and uh, do this ourselves. First thing I'll do is the checksum verification. I'll just copy that checksum into my clipboard. I'll launch my checksum uh, checking software. We'll open up the installer. Uh, it runs the uh, checksum on the installer locally, and then I just compare it to what the developers posted on the website. Uh, which makes sure that you've got a clean copy of the installer. Well, that's what you want. All right, now I'm going to do the cryptographic verification uh, using Cleopatra. You'll notice there that I have my own key in my key ring, and then I've got the IOHK signing authority developer signing key in my list of keys. And uh, like I said, you can check out previous videos that explain how you get this all set up. But now that we're here, I'm just going to hit Decrypt Verify. And we're going to go over to the Downloads folder and just click on that installer. And Cleopatra is going to run the cryptographic verification on the installer along with that uh, PGP signing key that we also downloaded. All right. And once that's done, we want to see this nice green box letting us know that we've got a good uh, verified copy of the installer. This is just to avoid uh, man in the middle attacks, that sort of thing. I feel it's important. All right, now we're just gonna close the old version of the wallet and we'll go over here to downloads and we'll double click the installer. All right, and once that gets installed, uh, we can close this off and launch the uh, new version of the Daedalus wallet. All right, so the first thing it's gonna do is verify the blockchain data that's already on your computer from your previous version of the wallet. And there you can see now that uh, the software has launched and uh, has discovered my wallets, but they still need to sync up to the Shelly uh, blockchain. So uh, we'll wait for the wallets to get synced up to the new blockchain. Uh, you can see that uh, it's gonna be a bit before they're completely synced up. So just be patient. All right, now Daedalus will allow us to go ahead and create a new wallet while we're waiting for uh, the previous wallets to sync up. I'm gonna call this one main, and uh, you're gonna have to set a user password or spending password, and then uh, it's going to generate a recovery phrase. Now it's very important that you write this recovery phrase down. I like to do it on a piece of paper with the name of the wallet and the date and the numbers. Uh, so I can keep all my recovery phrases straight. All right, and then it's going to ask us to confirm that by retyping all of the words in in order. 
And when you've done that, it's going to have you tick off these uh, things that say that you understand that this is the only way to recover your wallet, right? This is it. If you lose this recovery phrase, uh, you can lose access to your ADA that you have stored in here. All right, so now that we've managed to uh, get the wallet synced up, it's telling us that these are incompatible with the new Shelly wallets. So it wants us to move the funds from the old wallets into the new wallets. Uh, not a big deal. Uh, so uh, in order to do that, I just click on this button and uh, the Shelly compatible wallet shows up there as a choice. And I'll just hit continue there. And it's, we'll have to enter our spending password in order to do this. All right. And once we've done that, uh, all of the uh, funds from that older wallet move out and over to the main wallet. Right, and then you can see there that uh, now the funds from the previous wallet are now in the new wallet. And everything's safe and sound. Now we're going to have to go ahead and do this with the other wallet as well. They don't really give us a choice. Uh, they don't allow us to use the wallet really at all. Uh, they're just kind of forcing us to move everything in. And like I said, you can create multiple new Shelly wallets if you want to disperse your funds as well as well. But I'm just going to go ahead and move everything in storage over to main by clicking this button and doing the exact same that we thing we did before. Notice if there were more than one Shelly wallet, I could have dropped it into a different Shelly wallet. But in this case, I've just created one Shelly wallet. It would be nice if they didn't charge us any fees for this since they're kind of forcing us. But that's okay. All right, so you can see I sent out the bulk of storage wallet and it should appear in main wallet shortly. There it is. Okay, so now I've got everything in my uh, main wallet. I really don't need these other wallets anymore since they're empty. So I'm just going to get rid of them. So we can go to settings here and just delete wallet. Uh, what am I deleting? Shopping. All right, that one's gone. Let's get rid of this guy. We'll uh, just highlight the wallet, go over here to more, hit settings, delete wallet, uh, say we understand, write the name. All right, they're going <laughs> to, gives us a few seconds here. All right, and there we go, I'll hit delete, there we go. Now I got a nice clean Shelly wallet. I could, like I said, if I wanted to have multiple wallets, I could add another Shelly wallet by simply creating a new wallet. And, uh, you know, they're all going to be the new Shelly wallets. So there you have it. Now, I really wish that I could restore from my 15-word uh, uh, rewards wallet. But uh, apparently they're going to add that around August 5th. So those of you who uh, created testnet wallets and earned testnet rewards, uh, just be patient. That'll happen next week. And I'll do another video on how you do that. All right. But now that we're here and we've got uh, our Cardano in our Shelly wallet, let's go over here to the staking information. Uh, let's see, we're at the delegation center. Okay, so we can, uh, it's all delegated. We can hit delegate. Let's check these stake pools. There's a bunch of stake pools. I really have no idea which ones yeah, are good or bad. Uh, they've kind of got them ranked by green. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we'll see, right? Uh, let's see, if I hit... Uh, delegate will probably take me right over there. Uh, okay, we're going to select our wallet, our stake pool, and our delegation confirmation, right? So we'll hit continue here. Uh, the wallet, of course, will be main, right? Take us over here back to these stake pools. Uh, let's see. I'll just hit the top one for now, right? And there's uh, it even pops up a little bit of info if you wanted to click this link. Uh, it would explain a little more about this particular node and uh, what kind of rewards it's offering. Uh, okay, right? So do your research, check all these guys out, decide which one's going to work best for you, right? You can see this. It looks like they're all pretty much uh, doing 1%. Okay, well, well, we'll see what happens, right? I just chose one already right, here at 80. ADHL, 
right? I can uh, click on this and it's ranked number one right now. Uh, stake pool, right? All right, so uh, do your research and decide which one you want to use. Uh, okay, uh, so I've selected a stake pool. I'm going to hit continue. And now I need my spending password. And I'm wondering if they're going to ask me how much I want to stake. Okay, the stake from your main wall is now delegated. But uh, I noticed that it didn't ask me how much I wanted to delegate. It just sort of uh, used it all. So if for whatever reasons uh, you didn't want to, and I don't know how long it will take to undelegate your ADA. Uh, those are questions that would be nice to know. Um, or I could change the delegator. All right, and then uh, the ADA rewards will uh, be will come in over here, or we'll be able to see them come in, and apparently they'll be added to your balance. Okay. Now, if for whatever reason you didn't want to delegate all of your ADA, you could create a different wallet, right? You could just add another wallet and keep some of your balance in your secondary wallet, and then uh, just use uh, staking wallets to stake whatever amounts you wish to stake, right? If for whatever reason you want to keep some of your ADA liquid, um, that might be the way to go. But it just depends. I mean, if they're if they're going to allow us to unstake very quickly and easily, not very clear <laughs> how you undelegate. Uh, I'm assuming you might want to do that at some point if you decide you want to sell the ADA, move it out, All right? All right. So I decided to go ahead and create a secondary wallet. Uh, in order to see if I could move anything out of main wallet uh, before it got delegated. And so I created this secondary wallet and, uh, you know, copied uh, the address of the wallet into my clipboard. And then we'll uh, run back over to our main wallet and see if we can send anything out of that wallet. So we'll just paste in the address of the secondary storage wallet. And I'm just going to try 1,000. Ada and see if that moves successfully. All right, so I was able to move it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move uh, most of it into this particular wallet. All right, we'll hit this, copy the address, and copy this address. Let's copy that address. All right, and I'll just go over to this wallet. Let's send to the other wallet and let's say 38,000. All right. All right, so as you can see, I've got the bulk of my ADA in this storage wallet. And uh, let me play around with this wallet a little bit, see if I can figure out how to uh, stake. Well, it looks like uh, that it's gonna delegate the entire balance of this wallet um, whenever this thing hits, right? And it said that it might take nine days and 21 hours for it to actually confirm, right? So at that point, uh, this uh, node may just check the balance of my wallet and use that, right? But I really didn't want to, I didn't really want to commit all of my ADA to this stake. I'm just testing it out. So uh, we'll see. Right, but, but I don't see any way to undelegate, right? But I was able to send, right? So in order, uh, you know, by sending it, I basically undelegated it, right? So that was the only way I could figure to undelegate it. Uh, I believe the testnet wallet actually had, like in the delegation, there was a way to actually, you know, undelegate, right? But this, this one has redelegate, but it doesn't, give me the option of saying, okay, no, I don't want to delegate any of it, right? Uh, select a stake pool. It doesn't give me the option of saying no stake pool, right? So I don't know. Uh, maybe the controls aren't there yet. This is the first day the wallet's available. It's not very clear uh, how we undelegate should we decide to, uh. you know, stop delegation completely so that our uh, ADA becomes liquid. <laughs> It looks like I did a de facto de-delegation de by simply sending some of the balance out, right? Most wallets would tell you that if it's delegated, it would be an unavailable balance, right? But I kind of walked you through this so far. 
So uh, I got the wallet installed. Uh, my wallet was already active on my computer, so my uh, Byron wallet showed up. And uh, but I did. I was sort of forced to uh, uh, convert them to uh, Shelly mainnet wallets, right. right? Which of course you would want to do. And then uh, we got in there and played around with delegation. Uh, we'll see what happens. Maybe tomorrow I'll check back to see if the, the remaining balance of this wallet becomes fully delegated and whether it can be uh, at that point if there are undelegation controls rather than just redelegate. And uh, we'll see. But uh, my suggestion to you is most likely just uh, create the wallet, uh, install the software, uh, create a Shelly wallet, and transfer your uh, Byron wallets into those. Uh, and maybe only play around with the delegation if you're the adventurous type. Maybe, uh, you know, figure it out and uh, use your uh, judgment. All right. So if there's any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. Don't forget I do a live stream every Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please join me for the live Q&A from right. Michigan where you can throw out questions and I'll do my best oh, to get them answered. Okay. Hope to see you there. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.